Cayo Charles is the historical district uh, from 17th Avenue to about 12th Avenue. Very, very Hispanic neighborhood. And the houses reflect it, the cars reflect it, the, the way that people cross the street reflects it. There's a lot going on here. Just down the street, there's uh, the Bay of Pigs Memorial, which is a, a key point here in Miami, a Cuban memorial that's actually created Little Havana, the history behind Miami and why Cayocho is Cayocho. You know the beautiful thing about, about Calle Ocho is the fact that most of the business owners here are actually from Cuba. They came here and they opened their business and they thrive. Los Pinareños Fruteria is, is one of the oldest fruit shops or bakeries here in Miami. They are the epitome of, to me, of, of what Calle Ocho is, what Miami is. You walk in, it's like a slice of, of Cuban countryside. They have a pig in the back, they have chickens going around, there's the fruit he picks every day. It's actually one of the best places to get a guarapo, which is a sugar cane juice. Salud. It's summer, it's hot, and you drink this, and everything is okay. The Cuban culture has brought a lot of salsa, uh, conga music, uh, so we get that actually a lot here. So when people see in videos, or they see it in commercials, or in magazines, they, they see that music is playing at all times. That's not staged at all. I mean, we'll walk down the street, and there's somebody playing music at any location, at any time. So if you want to go Cuban fast food, we have the pan con bistec, which is like a Miami staple. Uh, everybody for lunch, everybody. I mean, everywhere you go, if you want to have a sandwich, you have a pan con bistec. And if you want to have like more of a sit-down meal, you have the uh, vaca frita, which is essentially like shredded beef with onions, rice, the sweet plantains that we have here. Almost in every corner of Miami, you're going to find what is called a ventanita. It's a walk-up window, like a cafeteria style. And what you do is you order, most likely, a colada. It's like a straight shot of Cuban coffee with sugar. Area code here in Miami is 305. That, just like London has tea time and Spain has siesta. Miami has an official coffee time, which is 3.05 p.m. Crack is what we call it because it's so addicting. You're officially a Miami if you're drinking coffee at that time. <laughs> they can't drink that whole thing by themselves, so they buy it and they're gonna share it no matter what. So when you walk down the street and they'll stop you and they'll say, hey, get a cafe, and you never say no. Remember, 3.05 p.m., that's the coffee time. So Domino Park actually uh, is called Maximo, Maximo Gomez Park. It's really just like a small park full of Domino tables. I want to say like older gentlemen, Cubans, and they take Domino very seriously. They're there day in and day out. Uh, but it's just fun to go and watch. And actually they're nice enough to, to let you play and they teach tourists how to play. And it's a good park. It's definitely somewhere you want to stop and see the Cuban culture. There's a lot of things that Cayocho is starting to, to showcase. The influx of Hispanic culture here is so beautiful to me, it really is.